uh, following that formal statement from government, we do know that uh, Mr. Somachrem has formally taken over from Professor Frimpon Boating as the chair for the Inter-Ministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. Now, moving on, the Tourism Minister Barbara Otingesi says the impact assessment of the coronavirus pandemic by the Ghana Tourism Authority so far undertaken has revealed that the hospitality industry is likely to lose in excess over $130 million in the formal sector and $41 million in the informal one, spanning a period of some five months. Speaking at a meeting which brought together members of Ghana Hoteliers Association, the Tour Operators Association of Ghana, tour guides, car rentals associations, and more. She assured them that her outfit will support them during the difficult times of COVID-19. Maxwell Agbagba sat through the meeting. I'm at the Plash Kempinski um, Hotel. The lobby looks empty with no activity, not even guests. The situation here at the Kempinski Hotel mirrors what is happening across the length and breadth of the country, and even globally as the COVID-19 continued to wreak havoc and many people indoors with airport doors shut. The hospitality industry is bearing the brunt. Well, at the stakeholders meeting today, the president of the Ghana Hotels Association, Dr. Edward Akanyemike, called for a stimulus package for players in the hospitality industry who were hardly hit by this global pandemic. As you speak now, the hotels are doing averagely about 10%, 15% occupancy, and that is indeed a big blow to the industry. Dollars, of course, yes, it turns into millions of dollars. Coming to, coming to today's meeting, I, I was hoping to hear what government has uh, planned for us in terms of the stimulus package. We are asking for suspensions of some of the taxes that we pay and some of the license fees that we pay. We are asking for some uh, discount on even the utility uh, bills. We are asking for some support to pay the salaries of our staff because we will have no choice but to lay off a lot of the staff. If not this month, most of them go to this month. One thing we found at many of the hotels that we um, visited um, are hand sanitizers. And they are here on all the tables um, at the Kempinski uh, Hotel. President of the Tour Operators Association of Ghana and CEO of Pacific Tours, PC Asian, says majority of Ghana's um, tourist sites have been closed as a result of the COVID-19. He says their business has come to a screeching halt. Um, Kakum National Park uh, is shut. Uh, the castles and forts are no longer working. Uh, a lot of the tourist attractions, as we've just mentioned, are also not working. The resorts are not working. And as you all already know, the borders are closed. So typically we are not getting our uh, inbound tours. My name is Setiabu Okran. I am the president of the Car Rental Association of Ghana okay. and the CEO of Yacht Rent a Car. Um, the social distancing, cancellation of, you know, the airlines, closure of the borders and all this thing. Our business thrives on movement of people. Therefore, when there is no movement of people, immediately we are affected. It's not just the lobby here at the Kempinski Hotel, which is empty. The poolside also has not seen any activity today. Well, the Tourism Minister Barbara Ortingesi says initial assessments have revealed that hotels in Ghana have lost millions of dollars within this COVID-19 period. She promised to facilitate a meeting between the owners and President Ekufuado to make sure that there is um, some package to cushion them. From information that I have from the Ghana Tourism Authority, the initial assessment that has been done um, indicates that the industry is going to have a downtime of close to about five months which is going to result in revenue losses of about $130 million for the formal sector and about $41 million for the informal sector. We we'll also try and get audience to engage with the, His Excellency the President on whatever proposal that um, we develop so that um, we can get 
and government support for the industry. Oh, Max Olagwaba with our report.